Hey everyone, today we have a 2018 Nissan Pathfinder and we're going to do a test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system. Now with this roof rack system mounts to the raised side rails of your Nissan Pathfinder, which is going to be a lot easier to get installed when compared to those standard pad and clamp systems that come under your door frame. You just got to put it on your side rails, tighten it down and you're good. This is going to allow you to get your favorite accessories on your roof, whether you've got a bike rack, a kayak carrier or even a cargo box. Now this roof rack is going to be made up of a couple of different components. Up top we're going to have our 53 inch wing bar Evo crossbars. These are also available in silver. You see we have the black ones on top. Whatever color scheme is going to match your car better, just see each other.com. Now we have a nice aerodynamic shape on our wing bar that's going to help cut down on wind noise and drag when compared to your square bar crossbar. If we open up this cap, we're going to see we have our T-slot track. Now what's different about these wing bars is rather than having to pull the rubber strip out and then cut it to length of whatever accessory we want to, we want to haul, we can take that T-slot and just slide it in between both of those rubber strips. We don't have to cut at all, we're not going to have to replace any of that rubber stripping. Let me just close that cap. Now below our wing bars we're going to have our Evo feet for raised side rails. This is going to be a lot easier to install, like I said, we're not going to have to deal with any of the fit kits or the clamps that go under our door frame. We just got to put this on our side rail and then tighten down this bolt right here to get it to clamp down and you see that it's very tight, it's not going anywhere at all. Put our end cap back on, we see we have these plastic locks. We can replace those with Thule lock cores which are sold separately here at e-trailer and that's going to give you a more secure feeling for your roof racks and no one can take it off without that key. Now under our raised rail feet we're going to have a nice rubber padding all around it. It's going to not harm or scratch the finish of our raised side rails. Now I'm going to give you guys a few measurements. First we're going to go from the top of our roof to the bottom of our wing bar. That's going to be three inches. That's more than enough space to get any clamp on accessories around the bar without risking damaging the top of your roof. And if your Pathfinder does have a sunroof, it's also enough space for it to be operational without running into the wing bar. Now from the top of our roof to the top of our wing bar, that's going to be four inches. You want to keep that in mind because that's how much height you've added to the top of your roof. You want to keep that in mind for any low clearance situations. This roof rack is going to have a 220 pound weight capacity, but be sure to double check with your Pathfinder's owner's manual and make sure the roof can handle that weight. Now that we've gone over some of those fixtures, I'll go ahead and show you how to assemble your crossbars and get them installed on your roof. Now we have the front bar installed already. It's going to, the second one's going to assemble the exact same way and go up there the exact same way. So with these raised side rail Evo clamp feet, it's pretty easy to get together. All we're going to do is take the end cap off of our wing bar. Let's grab our clamp feet and then we just slide it into that track. We'll go ahead and pull this scale all the way down. We don't necessarily need the scale for this installation. Just once it's loose in there, we'll put our end cap back on and we can put it up on our roof. Then when you're putting it on your roof, you want to make sure that this thicker side right here is facing forward. That's going to give it that aerodynamic shape to it. And then when you get it on your roof, you can just kind of set it in place on your side rails, like so. And now we'll measure our crossbar spread. Now when measuring a crossbar spread, it's important to make sure it's the exact same on both sides. It's going to make sure that your crossbars are parallel, which is going to let you safely haul any of your accessories up top. So what we're going to do is measure from the front of our rear crossbar to the front of our front crossbar. And with these raised side rails roof racks, it doesn't necessarily matter what your spread is. You just want to make sure it's above 24 inches. We went with 25 today. We'll just make sure the other side is 25. You could also base this measurement off of whatever accessory you might be hauling that day. Now before you tighten down your crossbars, you want to make sure that your crossbar overhang is even on both sides. For that, just measure from the base right here under the wing bar out to the edge and make sure it's as close as you can get it to the same measurement on both sides. We've already done this, so we'll go ahead and start tightening down. Take our included tightening tool, and all we have to do is tighten down that bolt until it's all the way secure. Now you're gonna know it's secure. As it gets tighter, you just keep going until you hear the audible clicks from the tightening tool. Once you hear that click, you're going to know it's tight enough. We'll go to the other side and do the same thing. 
Now we have both sides tightened down, and what's really cool is that this bolt is not only going to tighten the clamp feet onto our raised side rail, but it's also going to tighten up inside the channel of our wing bar so that our crossbar stays in place. Once you've got both sides tightened down, just put your end caps on, then you're ready to load up your favorite Thule accessories and hit the road. With all that being said, it's going to do it for our test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo Roof Rack System on our 2018 Nissan Pathfinder.